How many kids you got? None. I was just telling Tariq that you should consider an abortion. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about Diana losing her baby, Tariq's footage killing Zion, the blowback that will come on the tax force and Detective Carter, Tate's brother, and the symbolisms in episode 6 of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. I know what I'm about to say is unrelated to Power, but rest in peace, rich homie Kwan. And of course, if you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight into the topics. Now, before I talk about Diana losing her pregnancy and how she will turn into ghost mode, Kamal Tate is dead, and this is one of the major deaths in this season. Now, Tate will need Tariq's help to find his brother's killer. If you know Tate at all, you know that he always has leverage on people to use later and he doesn't do anything for free. The last person Tate helped was Tariq when he got that green card for Obi. And we all know Tariq owes Tate when it comes to that and it's payback time now that his brother is gone. And I believe Tariq is the best person Tate can use to get information on his brother's killer. Now mind you, Rashad Tate used to be a cop before his new governor ambition, so he can't be played in an institution like this. Would Tariq be willing to help Tate, knowing how crazy Don Carter is? Now, one of the task force members, Felicia, killed Tariq's baby and sent him back into being a potential father mood. If Tariq gets to find out this lady is from Carter's crew, same crew leader that shot Tate's brother and the statement from Zion about Kara recruiting them, then the math will finally be good. Tariq will put two and two together and know that the tax force killed Tate's brother. Why? Because Tate's brother and Carter moved separately to Monet and Tariq at the same time on their initial investigation. So it will be clear that they are working together. Now, Don Carter broke Monet's rule which says that if you hit my kids, I'm coming for you. Fucking hurt my kid and I'm coming for you. Now, Diana isn't only hurt, but she's really, really hurt. So Monet will have to let Tariq in on all the dealings of Don Carter for them to put two and two together to know who actually killed Kamal Tate. And I believe both Tariq and Monet have reasons to work together on this because Monet's daughter nearly died and she lost her grandson. While Tariq lost his son and the ability to become a father. So Monet will have to tell Tariq how dirty Don Carter is in order for them to have good plan on how to take him down. Diana, on the other hand, I believe she will change moving forward and if indeed she lost her baby, Maybe, then trust me, we'll see Diana's first kill and that is going to be Felicia. But let me know what you also think in the comment section so far. Now, this episode alone further established a lot about Don Carter, especially the opening scene where Drew was tailing him. The point is that do not threaten Carter, else you'll be gone. Zion did it and he's dead. Tate's brother did it and off he's gone. If Diana wants to take Felicia out for making her lose her baby, trust me, she must do it without any form of threat or notice. Felicia doesn't have to see Diana coming at all. That's the only way Diana can have her revenge on her. Now, there is a potential problem I foresee coming, especially in the tax force. Detective Kara told Felicia to end Zion and make it quick and discreet. End him now. Felicia. What? Quick and discreet. Now, take note of those keywords. Now, Felicia found herself wanted and she has to definitely be at the other place than killing Zion. So she tasked Diana to do her dirty job. Diana also panicked and asked Tariq for help. Tariq also went there with his high partner Braden and they both killed Zion all right. Now, Felicia somehow had access to the camera installed in the room where Zion was asked to hide at. And we all know in power, once someone transfers his responsibility to a third party, there is always a loose end. Now, there is a footage of Tariq killing Zion. Is that a good leverage from Carter's team or this will become a bigger problem for the tax force? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. For me, once someone shows the fear of something blowing back at them, there is a high chance that that thing will actually blow back on them. Because if you pay attention to Detective Don Carter's assignment to Felicia, fear and blowback has already been established as a major concern. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now I want to ask a question. 
Do you think if Felicia knew Diana was pregnant, she would have hid the baby basket? I know Diana doesn't owe any cop her private affairs, but I felt Diana had a chance to have given herself some protection at the point where Felicia asked her if she had any children at all. Maybe then she wouldn't have even considered giving her the tax to go and kill Zion. Or maybe she wouldn't have even hit her stomach. Well, either ways, it doesn't even make it right for Felicia anyways, but I feel if Diana had created an impression that she was carrying a baby, things might have just gone a bit differently. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. Now, this episode 6 has a lot of symbolism and wordplay that revealed that Diana's baby will not survive. First was the breaking of the globe. Inside that globe was a flute and a mother with a baby and we saw how fascinated Diana was when she was looking at it at the baby shop. So clearly, she bought it as a symbol of her motherhood anticipation. Now, Felicia breaking the globe was very unnecessary, but symbolically, it suggests the tragic that Diana will face, which is the loss of her baby. And if you pay close attention to the scene where Don Carter and his team raided Monet's house, they kept cutting shots at the globe on the table. Secondly, when Felicia asked Diana if she has any children, all that she said was no. How many kids you got? None. That is another irony of the whole thing. So clearly, she doesn't have a child yet, no niece, no nephew, but her answer is also a symbol of the fact that that baby will not make it to even second or third trimester. Now, the wordplay from Efe isn't just some line they wrote in the script where she said Tariq and Diana should consider abortion because with the two of them as parents, the baby is screwed. It's just another way the writer puts the subject of whether or not Diana and Tariq's offspring will be anything better than Tasha and Go's situation. I was just telling Tariq that you should consider an abortion because with you two as parents, your baby's screwed. And I think you agree with me, this combination will not end well for the baby's growth. Hence, the writers don't want to give birth to another Tariq who will extremely be exposed in this game and one day shoots his father as well. Because clearly, Tariq is still sleeping with Anya at this point and there is no way he's going to be very responsible and even better than his father. So this FA's line is just a confirmation that this baby will be aborted somehow but not voluntarily. And also, if you pay attention to the ending of the episode, the song that was used as the end credit, the lyric says a lot about karma coming. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, in one of my videos, I spoke about Tariq using Anya as leverage to beat Norma in this game and the fact that she would not want Tariq to expose her as the killer of her daughter's father. And now in this episode, we see Tariq using the leverage card on Norma. And I'm sure once Anya finds out that you but the one to kill her father, she'll never want to see you again. It's just a matter of time for Tariq to find himself at the top and Norma at the bottom. Now, let's talk about Efe's jealousy. I believe we all agree Efe is very angry and jealous of the fact that Tariq and Dana are expecting. But Efe coming face to face with death is going to change a lot of things about her. After the incident, she's beginning to think about getting out of the game. But we all know there is only one way to get out of this game. It's either you're dead or you end up in jail. But knowing Efe, I doubt she will just leave the game like that, knowing that no man can put bullets in her head. So I suspect Efe might want to be like Ghost, one foot in, one foot out. But let me know what you also think about Efe going forward. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.